Valerie Skinnerup puts her flamenco student through her paces, albeit six feet apart. We were told we should only be using 50% of our space. That means she maxes out at seven fully vaccinated students a class and intends to keep it that way well into the spring. So I think we have to keep vigilant and there's no problem with that. On Wednesday, the province announced a pause on lifting some of the last remaining capacity limits for nightclubs, wedding halls, and event spaces where there's dancing. This is the number of daily new cases almost doubled since last week. I think it's the right time. And I think uh, especially as we're going into the colder months where as we're seeing in some other provinces right now, there certainly is increasing uh, cases. And this is an attempt to uh, sort of prevent uh, that from uh, really kicking off. It already has in Sudbury. The city posted the highest rate of active cases in the province Monday, forcing it to reinstate some masking, distancing and capacity requirements. Some things happened. Uh, one to three weeks ago that might be affecting our numbers. These things include the lifting of capacity restrictions on certain activities. This, he says, could also be the result of Thanksgiving and Halloween parties. This is not a blip. This is something that's going to be sustained for a little bit. So we have to be a little cautious as the holiday season approaches. That means sticking to what works, masking and physical distancing. And while Skinura would love to bring back packed classes and performances, she's okay to wait until the province says it's safe. So I'm just going to keep moving ahead cautiously and not rushing towards reopening. So for now, distancing, masking and temperature checks. The most important moves in her studio. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.